Hey everyone, it's Houston, the Meandering Piper. Hope everybody's having a great day today. But I just got off work and uh, ran by the post office and I have a couple of yabos for you today. But uh, I got one from a Catholic pipe setter. Uh, me and him uh, did a trade. I sent him some stuff uh, the other day and he sent me back some uh, vintage Syrian there. And then uh, the other one's from Michelle Baruch. He was uh, kind enough to offer to uh, send me some Frog Morton Cellar and uh, Colt Embassy to kind of compare. So we're going to go ahead and do this now. I'll be honest with you, my wife doesn't open the boxes. <laughs> so I got them to the house and she, you know, had to see what was inside. So I ain't going to, you know, actually. Uh, go through the package opening there and plus that takes me forever to you know actually open the packages anyway, so uh, Got everything's you know sitting out here ready to go uh, So We'll get right to it, but before we do that got the dr. Grabo Grand Duke and in it haunted bookshop Ooh. <laughs> You know I've been to a lot of bookshops never once seen a ghost ever uh, drink pairing uh, sweet tea Ah, that's not the good home homemade kind this time around. It's actually a uh, red diamond. So now we're out of the bags and Dollar General up the road here don't have any. So we just went ahead and got the gallon of red diamond. That'll have to do for now. But anyway, let's get this thing started, shall we? Uh, let's see, we'll do this one first. We'll start with Catholic Pipe Stetter. And first thing I got here is Boswell's No Bite Delight. Never heard of this Boswell blend, but I'm going to have to have a smell here. Oh, yeah, well that's definitely an aromatic. What is that, cherry or a berry maybe? I don't know. Kind of having a hard time putting my finger on it there. That smells pretty good right there. Have to whip out a cob later this evening and try that right there. And we also have what the trade was for. Vintage Syrian. I've been trying to locate some of this for a while now. And uh, everywhere I look, they're sold out. And, uh, well, actually they did have the one pound bag, but I didn't want to you know get a pound of it so starting to go out put my pipe down uh, gotta run this pipe cleaner through here there we go. all right so we got those there oh before I get too far sidetracked using my Newer Rockwell pipe tamper. It's got the built-in bottle opener. And this is a pretty neat little tool here. I've used it a few times. And it's a good tamper. I haven't used any of the little tools in here yet. The little uh, reamer or corkscrew or anything like that. But I have used the bottle opener. And uh, it kind of works. <laughs> so uh, it works better than most bottle openers that I have. But, you know, it takes a couple of tries. Uh, not really that big, if you can see. It's kind of hard to get a bite on the end of the bottle cap there but all right now we're going all right so we'll go on to the next one and this one is from michelle baruch and first thing we got here is some mac Baron golden extra ready rubbed see the package there it looks like a virginia like a broken flake there. Mmm. Look at that. That's pretty right there. Ah, oh, it smells good too. Now I'm guessing this is probably a straight Virginia. No, no burly or anything like that, but this is one of the ones I haven't had a chance to come across yet. Mm. 
kind of has that kind of fermented hay smell to it a little bit. Oh, that ought to be really good. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. Looks like it smoked really good. Oh, I can't wait to try that one. You know, I'm a big Virginia fan. Can't tell if it's got a topping on it or not. It didn't smell like it, but it might. Have to do a little bit of research on this one here. Now, set that there. And, oh, there's the Frog Morton Cellar. And uh, we're going to be comparing that to, what do we have here? Oh, yep, there we go. The Colt Embassy. And I can smell these things through the bag here. I hadn't even had to open these things up. And I can smell that Latakia. So, let's start with the Frog Morton Cellar here. Woo! Mmm, that's an English blend right there. Mmm. Tell you what, this smells good right there. Let's try this one. This is the uh, Colt Embassy. Oh. Now this one smells a little bit more mellow than the Frog Morton. Have a look at them here. Well, just by looking at them, it looks like the Frog Morton, I don't know if y'all can see that. It looks like the Frog Morton may have a bit more Latakia in it. So. Oh, it just smells absolutely wonderful. Alright. Gotta get one more whiff on this Colt here. Mmm. No, I haven't had a chance to use my little corn cob tasting pipe yet, so I might have to break that out here after a bit and, you know, just have a little quick sample of these two. I don't have a whole lot of Englishes in my collection. I'm more of a Virginia and uh, vapor guy myself. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> And uh, Dark Fire Kentucky's is kind of like where I like to hang. But every once in a while, I am in a in the mood for a good English. You know, same way with aromatics. I don't like them, you know, all the time. But you know, a few times a week. Yeah, <laughs> I went out here. There we go. But yeah, that gives me a you know a chance to use my new little miniature Morgan tasting cob thing and we have MacBaron Scottish blend I'll set that there for a minute ah there good enough uh, we will take a whiff here oh save. Wind tried to steal it. Alright. Oh, yeah. I can definitely tell this is Virginia. Can't tell if that's Perique or... Looks like there's some Perique in there. Is that vapor? At least that's what I'm assuming it is. I'm not getting anything else right off the top here. It smells a lot like that, uh, well, a little bit more mellow version of that other Mac Bear in there. You know, it just not quite as uh, much of that fermented smell. I can see bright leaf in there. Probably some red Virginia. Oh. This is the part I'm not so good at right here, is trying to figure out what's in it just by looking at it and smelling it. Once we get these things fired up, that ought to be a dead giveaway. That smells really good. That'll be right up my alley there. Alright. Let me put all this away here before the wind tries to take our Ziploc again. Alrighty. Alright. So, that's what we got for the uh, Yabos there. Like I said, uh, the first one was from uh, Catholic Pipe Stetter. 
And the second one was a gift from Michelle Baruch. There we go. But I want to say thank you to both of you guys. Uh, you know, it's very generous of both of y'all. And uh, I got to say, you know, I really enjoy being a part of this community. Just the generosity of everybody is, you know, absolutely wonderful. You know, uh, I didn't ever see myself doing this kind of thing, you know, whenever I first started. But it's just blown me away to, or, you know, blown me away at, you know, how kind and, you know, generous everybody is. You know, this is truly a community. It's, you know, I gotta say, honestly, you know, I think I probably enjoy this more than going down to a smoking lounge or something like that. Last time I was at a smoking lounge, nobody said a whole lot of anything. You know, everybody just kind of kept to themselves and sit there. Got the kids playing on the back porch there. I'm not sure what they're up to. Fighting over Legos, I think. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. They're good now. <laughs> but anyway, thank you both. Uh, you know, it's, you know, really great. <laughs> I can't wait to try them. So, but uh, also, uh, I was wanting the YTPC's help with something. Now, I was down at my uh, local smoke shop here uh, the other day. Yeah, and this is a smoke shop. They ain't an actual tobacconist. You know, this is just like a little shed somebody threw windows and an air conditioner in and, you know, decided to sell cigarettes and stuff out of it. You know, but over the years as I've kind of gone back and forth and between uh, cigarettes and the pipe and chew and everything else, I used to, you know, frequent that one, you know, fairly often because it's not even a mile from the house. So, the other day, I realized that I hadn't been in there in quite a while, you know, since I took up the pipe. I'd just been going to my tobacconist over in the next town. And that's about a 14, 15 mile drive from me. So, I figured, you know, well, I'll go ahead and swing in there and see what they have, you know, nowadays. You know, usually you can go in there and uh, get the Captain Blacks and uh, Prince Albert and... Oh, there was a couple others they had. That's actually where I got this Dr. Graybo. So, it had to be before Christmas. That was the last time I was in there. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I did. I got this Dr. Graybo here and picked up a pouch of Captain Black Gold. But, anyway, I'm getting off topic there. I went in there the other day. And uh, went to looking for their pipe tobacco. And they no longer carried any of the good stuff. Or at least what I would consider, you know, decent, you know, smoking tobacco. You know, I asked her if she had any of the Captain Black pouches. And, you know, she wasn't in too good a mood. <laughs> it was like, you know, uh, she wasn't too happy that I was asking questions. But, anyway, uh... Asked her if she had any Captain Black tobacco. She said no. Oh, well, what about Prince Albert? No, we don't have any of that. I, well, okay, you know. I was like, well, do you have any, you know, pipe tobacco? And she directs me to the end of the cabinet there. And at the very bottom, in the glass thing, there's about four great big old huge bags. Right about yay wide, about yay tall. I don't know how much was in them. But, uh... And it had a picture of a pipe on the front, and uh, I can't remember the brand, you know, the top was kind of folded over, and I didn't get a good look at it. But they had red, blue, green, and I want to say it was like an orangish yellow color. And had, of course, the picture of the pipe on the front. And then, well, actually, I think there was a couple more of that, and they had, like, a mountain for the background. But anyway, that aside... Uh, they didn't even have, you know, a description on, on the tobacco, you know, on the bag or anything. It just said red, blue, uh, the green one said menthol, which I've never seen menthol pipe tobacco before, but I don't know if it's, uh, 
cigarette tobacco that's just being you know, sold as pipe tobacco or what. But uh, I don't know. If anybody's ever had uh, any experience with those uh, cheap, you know, bargain uh, brands like that, that what you would find at a regular smoke shop, I'd like to know. You know, even though it don't have any description or tells you what kind of tobacco is even in them, you know, it just says red, blue, menthol, you know, whatever, you know, as the description. Uh, I was wondering if anybody, you know, had tried any of that stuff and if it was any good or if it was not so good or what. You know, because I had half a mind to try it, but you know, I didn't want to dip into my, you know, budget for the good stuff. You know, and it turns out this great big old bag it ain't going to be worth, you know, a whole lot and uh, not taste very good. So, yeah, now nah, we're going. So, yeah, I'd love to hear, you know, y'all's thoughts and opinions on that. Like I said, I can't remember the brand name, but, you know, it was definitely a cheaper end pipe tobacco. I don't know, might have to get a bag anyway just in case one of these days things get a little lean. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just rambling on now. Also want to do a shout out. And today I got Gingerbeard Piper for you. And he's got a few videos up. Uh, last time I checked he was at 60 something subs. And uh, I don't think I've seen anything out of him for a couple of weeks now. But I don't know, I think that's just my YouTube. is <laughs> in the little subscription thing where all the videos pop up sometimes it'll be a couple of days and then it'll be right there at the top of the page and you know and then it's gone again so I don't know what's up with that so I have to go scrolling through there and see what I can find I'm a little behind at the moment so I'm catching up though I'm getting better about it got the birds singing here it's actually turned out to be a nice day, even though it was pretty hot. You know, I got home a while ago, it was telling me it was 101 degrees. I don't know if that was true, but that's what the truck was telling me it was. Shoot, my tea ain't even sweating anymore. Ugh. But anyway, y'all, I think I'm going to go ahead and back it on off here. Uh, I will uh, put Ginger Beard uh, Pipers information in the uh, description below and I will also leave the link to Catholic Pipe Stutters channel and Michelle Baruch's channel uh, down below as well so go check them out and give them a sub if you haven't found them already so but anyway y'all I'm gonna get on off here and uh, enjoy the rest of my evening so we will talk to y'all later